So in the last video, we have seen how to use this map method and reduce method. So map method takes a value and it finds, it maps it with any operation you want. And then this reduce, what it will do is it will, uh, it will try to aggregate or sum up or it will find, it will try to find only one answer. So if you have a stream of values, and from that stream of values, you can find one answer. Maybe an aggregation, maybe average, maybe addition, maybe uh, some other operation, right? So this time what we have done is we have added two elements. But when you add two elements, instead of using, instead of adding by yourself, you can use a sum method of interface class, uh, this integer class. So integer is a class in Java, which is a wrapper class. It has a method called a sum. So we can simply say it is integer, or we can say it is take two values, c comma e, and for every value, apply a function which is integer dot sum, and we can pass c dot e, c comma e. So it will take these two values, it will send it to sum, and that this sum will return your value. So if I run this code now, we can see output is still 42. So either using, either writing c plus E, you can draw simply write integer dot sum c comma e. So sum is the inbuilt in -build method of integer class. So if I go to sum, you can see it's a static method which returns a integer value. But hold on, which is better, writing c plus e or this? Of course, c plus e, right? Which it looks good. But what if I say, whenever you work with a method of a class, you can either you can also use something called as method reference. So here we can, we, have, we can simply define integer colon colon sum. So we can skip that two variables. So it will automatically fetch two values and it will apply a sum operation. Right, so we can say run, we can say it is 42. Simple, so this is how we need to use a pre-built methods with the help of reduce method in stream API.